Uh, so one of the biggest things in MBA is that uh, when you enter the college in a week's time, you'll realize that uh, there is so much of opportunities in in the that the institute, respective institute, and there will be a road rush that everyone is wanting to do everything, and there is a set of bucket of things like academics, competitions, uh, placements. Uh, then you have your committees. You have leadership roles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's there's multiple things that this uh, in the starting phase you start to realize, and then it's over there where if you are very comfortable and clear that what are my three priorities from the MBA, you will make the right choices. It, it's best to right now figure out what are your priorities. Uh, for me, uh, it will. I'll give you an example about me so that it becomes easier when you apply that for yourself. So I had always been into the finance line. and uh, i had always been in calcutta with limited exposure in terms of work or uh, leadership exposure etc so i wanted these two years to help me grow as a leader and at the same time i get as much experiences as possible in terms of work so academics was one part of it but the work experience part was something that i was really looking forward to in these uh, two years time so accordingly it was very clear for me that uh, uh, to get the exposure there was a set of x things that spgen was giving me i had just shot it that down for work exposure there were a couple of things internship and life projects that mba colleges give and uh, based on that i had figured out what i want to do so one of the buckets was also for example international exchange program that all of your colleges will give and then for that you give get scholarships etc also so then for me the priority again became academics that would help me get the scholarship and as you go ahead as i would recommend strongly as you start off this mba start to reach out to your seniors and collect around 10 15 20 cvs of theirs and look at all those cvs and just pinpoint what are the peaks that each of the cv has and try to accumulate as many peaks you can incorporate in your cv in the two years time that was one thing which i did uh, i wish you should also do at the start of mba reach out and don't hesitate to reach out to the seniors they are very much because i was very hesitant at my time and there was no one to tell me that there is no hesitance and they are very much willing to help so you should collect as much cvs as possible jot down that uh, for leadership if your point so if i look at my cv it breaks down into multiple things and if you feel any of the things is weak for you right now you just start choosing those options that your college is giving so then your decisions and what you do in college becomes very easy and then you make the right choices so this is what i want would i would have uh, i would recommend what i did and i would recommend also that spend your first month at the college to figure out what are your top 2 3 priorities and what are the ways in which you can achieve those priorities then it would be very simple and less complex and you will not join the crowd or the herd in the multiple things that you do so this was a bit i just wanted to share on best use of mba because you are just starting off and first month is critical for just figuring out what priorities you want to achieve in these two years then it becomes much easier otherwise there's so much option that you will not have a right path only you will just go here or here and there